We're going into celebration. And if God such spoke to you during this, you know, during that awesome teaching about baptism, such a hard see Brooke, Pastor Brooke is over there, and he will get you set Lord with shorts and T-shirts and towels if you want to join the others that are going to be baptized. So, Jerry, hit it. We're going to celebrate. We're going to worship God. Yeah. Come up, dancers. Come up, flaggers. And we're going to go for it. And then we'll do baptism after worship. up. I don't know if it has to be recalibrated because it fell, but we need it all up. There we go. All right. Hello. 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 Check. How's everyone doing this morning? Let's all stand to our feet. We're going to go into some worship.
Let's just begin to just lift our voice to the Lord, guys. Let's just, get, just begin to pray in your, in your spirit.
Father God. As it's raining in this nation, I can actually hear the lightning. Things are crashing. Swords are clashing in this nation. But Lord God, as it is raining, your presence, we're choosing to jump into the waters and cross over. We're going to cross over out of Egypt, out of our past, out of Egypt mentality, out of worldliness, Lord God, and we are crossing over into the promise. Father God, placating messages don't taste good anymore. It's the truth of your word that ignites us, empowers us, and releases us out to that harvest. Every person that jumps into the waters today will be given a harvest crown. You are harvesters. You're evangelists. You are preachers. Help! Help! Yes! There's a breaker anointing in those waters today. There's a breaker anointing. Yeah. 
addictions. If you're here and you have an addiction, you need to run up into the waters. He's stripping it off, stripping it off, stripping it off, stripping it off, stripping it off. You're coming out of the milk, says God. The milk will no longer satisfy. You're coming into the meat, the meat of my word, the meat of who I am. You're growing up, growing up fast, growing up exponentially. You're growing up fast, you're growing up fast, you're growing up exponentially. Exponentially, exponentially. I see those getting into the water today. Letitia, Hunter, Kim, Eileen, and whoever else. You're going to pop out of there and you're going to have a full set of spiritual teeth. And those that already have mature spiritual teeth and are going in as a prophetic act. You're going to be launched and upgraded into a whole new level. This is exponential waters today. Whoa, exponential waters. So who's first? Who's going first? Thank you, Lord. Keep playing. You guys keep Thank going. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We got a, we got a word here. Uh, Dr. Jimmy's got a word here. So. When I, ever since I got here this morning, I've been, water has been on my mind and I didn't know why. From outside to inside. And there's a lot been spoken about water, so I believe the Lord wants to release this word. For this day, moving forward, I have placed you in a pool of water, says the Spirit of the Lord. And the Lord says there was a time and a point that it was only one to two feet high. But the Lord says it's grown to three feet high, four feet high, five feet high. For I have a level of grace upon this place like never before. And it shall be a place that there will be many that will come that walk in apostleship and prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And the Lord says you're going to be a refreshing pool for them. And the Lord says they won't even have to get into the live pool. For as soon as they walk in the door, they will be refreshed. And the Lord says I shall part the waters that they will be able to come into this place and that I will pour out my blessings upon them and refresh them for this place will be known as a place above the clouds this place will be known a place where eagles soar and this place will be known all over the world says the Lord for the spirit of the Lord says my anointing is on this place my glory is upon this place the Lord says I've heard your cry I've heard your prayer I've heard your plea and I am surely here so the Lord says no this day moving forward 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 my place is upon you in this place says the lord and i i have a word for your grandbaby i can just give it it's for the it's for the baby come on up bring baby oh no we want sister you're annoying come on up those getting baptized get ready you guys are going to be electrocuted by holy ghost <laughs> Their eyes got big. Hello, Ariana. The Spirit of the Lord wants you to be reminded that you were born in Zion. And that this day, the things that I have placed on the inside of you are unrefutable, says the Lord. And the Lord says, not only will you be a leader... You will be a leader for nations, but you shall also be a leader in business. For they will come to you for problems that need to be solved. The Lord says, I'm anointing you and appointed you already before that you will walk in these ways. For you won't be able to help yourself. There will be those that will come to you with problems, even as children. And as a child, you will be able to give them the answer to the problem. And you will be able to give adults the answer to problems that they cannot solve. So you will be sought after. I see you walking with a entourage behind you and you have your backpack and your briefcase and there'll be many, many things that I have had you to place in there before you're even called out. You won't even know why they're in there. But then surely when you open it up and my glory pours out through you, you shall be the answer for nations. 
You shall be the answer for economic issues in nations. You shall be the answer to even cause a swirling in the house of the Lord. For when you begin to swirl and twirl, even as a child growing up in my glory, that the dance that I place on the inside of you will be very unique, says the Lord. For many shall be healed when you begin to move. He says, you will not understand it, says God, but you will know that I am in you. For you and I have had conversation already, says the Spirit of God, and that you know that these things are coming. And the Spirit of the Lord says to the father and the mother, you have a great responsibility because I've caused her to be able to be one that will walk through revivals and even in the hard times that are coming and the hardships, but she won't see it like you. The Lord says she is designed for chaos. She's designed for those things that look horrible to some in different age groups, but she's designed to be one that shall step into the middle of the chaos and be like a whirlwind and bring the calm and the peace, says the Lord. So these things that I lay, I speak to you, that they won't fall to the ground and die, but that you shall be the fulfillment of why I sent you to the earth, says the Lord. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Woo. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Wow. Wow. Oh my All gosh. Right. Keep playing. There's such a, a drunk anointing. There's a drunk anointing. I'm just getting in the spirit. Just, whoa. All right. Who's first? You first. Yes. Let's uh, give the Lord a hand raise again. Thank God for the word, the prophecy. Thank God for what he's already done what he'll continue to do in church it may not be your word your song or maybe today you're not being baptized but we need to stay focused okay sometimes there are distractions in the back we're talking let's stay focused as to what's happening here today again maybe not your day to be baptized but yesterday and today there'll be thousands of people that are cheering for a team or a player making a touchdown we can do the same today for those that are being dumped. If heaven can rejoice, we can rejoice. But we need to understand that we're still in church, still in service, and we are still worshiping. The Bible says that when Jesus was baptized, the heavens opened. A dove landed upon him, and God spoke, saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Let's cheer for the ones that are being dumped. And remember that we are still in the church. And we're still worshiping. We had four. Then there was another one. And another one. And another one. Now we have seven. Can we make it eight? Can we make it a nine? Can we make it ten? Praise God. We can have fun. But let's remember the presence of God. We're going to start with Natasha. But before we do that. I'm sorry. Letitia. But before we do that. I want to pray a prayer of deliverance over everyone. Because we... Our number is growing. And let's everyone join in because we're family. They're going to need our help in this race. We needed help and we still need help today. Father God, we thank you, Lord, today for those that are being baptized, God. We pray, oh God, for complete deliverance, God. Wholeness in their mind, their body, their finances, God, any and everything that would concern them, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We pray, oh God, for any habit, God, any, anything that's contrary, Lord, to your word, God, that you not only break and take off of them, but destroy in the name of Jesus. By your spirit, by your power, Lord, hallelujah, we thank you right now, Lord, that when they're dipped today, they're going to come up as new creatures in your glory. We just give you praise and honor for all those that have come forth, all those that are still making up their mind, even those that are streaming. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. This is your day. This is a different day. This is a new day. This is an anointed day in Jesus' name. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart that is broken. And great are you, Lord. And great are you, Lord. 
Okay, our first daughter is Leticia, and she has some words. I just want to thank this church and everybody in it for all their prayers and their, just their love and their, and just being here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today we baptize Leticia in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. also has some words to say. Fear you die today. <laughs> Father, we thank you, O oh God, for Aline's courage. No more fear in Jesus' name. And we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Kim, 
This is what happens when you pray a lot. <laughs> As I go forth, this is a breaker for the body of Christ to come into their fullness, releasing the fire of the Holy Ghost upon this body like we have never seen before. So get ready, you burning one. Kim has been baptized before. Let's see her as a body today, as a wedge that's going to go before us by act of obedience and allegiance to Jesus today. Father, we baptize Kim today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Just right. Amen. This is Noelle, and she has something to tell us as well. Um, this is actually my first time being baptized, I've, woo, um, except when I was a baby, um, and so this is my public declaration of faith, and this is my declaration that I'm moving into the new, I'm moving into the fullness of the destiny that God has for me, and this is me crossing over out of any sickness, disease, any trauma into my future, into my destiny, and Jesus. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we baptize the Lord.
just go to him the way you are and he will reveal himself to you in Jesus name day and night new identity in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Day and night, night and day. Christina, and uh, what brings you down today? I just want to rededicate my life to Christ and let him know that I'll be a better warrior for Christ, especially in the light of these elections that are so crucial coming up, and I want to be strong for that. Father, we thank you, Lord, for Christina's commitment to you. We just pray that you will receive this warrior into your army, Father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dan wanted to get into some warm water. Uh, God's got a surprise for him. So, after 20 years of being in the desert out in Atlanta and pretty much giving up on God, this is my third baptism. First was a child. I didn't know what I was doing. The second one I did because I thought it was 
the required of me. I'm doing this one to break out of the old man and into the man I'm supposed to be. As the waters in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. sleeping at parks, P.A. Chains, and everything. God knows my true meaning, and he knows my true intentions. Thank you. So Cameron, I got the pleasure of speaking with you this morning, and, and I just want you to know that uh, the Lord says you're victorious. He says you're victorious. And he's going to place people in your life to help you walk through this peace. But he said that the battle's already won. It's his. And he says just give it to him. And what you're doing right now is you're releasing that. You're putting it on the at the foot of the cross for him. So, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for Cameron, Lord. We thank you for the mighty call on his life, Lord. We thank you that you've called him to even minister to the addicts so they can become ex-addicts. So, Father, we thank you that uh, we break off any spirit of addiction right now in Jesus' name. It's got no place anywhere in this house, in this man. So, Father, we thank you for your deliverance, Lord. We thank you for your will. We thank you for your destiny. Father, we just thank you for blessing him, and we thank you. He says, welcome home, son, in Jesus' name. Baptized Cameron today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Cameron, uh, the Lord gave me a word for you, and I just want to share it with you. Um, he said that there it, you have a David anointing on your life. And that it's because you are willing to dance. And I kept hearing the verse, undignified before the Lord. And you're willing to live your life as undignified before the Lord. And he has come after you so hard. Well, not the Lord, but Satan has come after you so hard because of the greatness that's inside of you. You are a leader. You are absolutely a leader. And there is greatness that is inside of you. And so I just wanted to, just wanted to share that with you. Beautiful in your majesty, glorious for every eye to see the glory of your wonder. Glory of your 
So uh, this is my son, Hunter. And he is living proof that God answers prayers. And it is just such an honor today to be right here in this baptismal with him. You can't imagine. And he's got a few words. Uh, Father, I thank you for bringing me home to my true family. And Father, uh, I, I thank you most of all for showing me the truth. So, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the call on Hunter's life. Father, we thank you that, uh, that, man, you wooed him to yourself. Father, we thank you that you've given him ears to hear and eyes to see exactly what you have for him. And we just call him into his destiny. And uh, he is on his way. And he said, the river runs deep in you, Hunter. And the prophetic anointing on your life is going to increase with dreams and visions even more. And Lord, just, uh, man, we give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. I baptize you, Hunter, my son, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. 